We will now move to the joint debate on paragraphs 24 and 25, Special Environment, Cultural and Community Safety, OSC, Councillor Cook. I'd like to uh, formally move this, uh, this, um, this motion, uh, Ms. Clark. Thank you. And Councillor Jacob is going to open. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, it's no exaggeration to say that uh, the removal of waste and streets, sweeping the streets are two of the most important things that we do as a council. They're two of the universal services that touch all our residents' lives, and if they go wrong, we all hear about it pretty quickly. Fortunately, we actually have a very good reputation in this area. Last year, the council's street cleaners, for example, collected more than 9,500 tonnes of litter and fly-tipped waste. That was actually up by 790 tonnes from the previous year, but at the same time, complaints fell to a 10-year low, showing that uh, uh, we really are on the case in dealing with the uh, inevitable problems that you get in living in a busy city like London. Um, of course, uh, in addition to being very important services, they're also very expensive services, and that's really the backdrop to the, uh, the contracts that we are discussing and debating this evening. Uh, and, of course, the backdrop to setting these new contracts is, of course, the car crash in the UK public finances. Uh, that means that we, as a council, simply have to make savings. Uh, not our own fault. It's a, it's a constraint that's put on us. Of course, you can't make savings without impacting the level of service. Uh, it would be foolish to pretend that there will be no change in the level of service in these contracts. But what we can do, and what I believe we've done magnificently, is deal the, the hand that has uh, been, sorry, played the hand that has been dealt to us uh, magnificently. We've got the savings that we need to deliver to our local taxpayers, uh, and we've got the services maintained in as best a way as possible uh, to ensure that the actual frontline impact uh, is absolutely minimized. Uh, and to sort of quantify that for a moment, the uh, new street cleaning contract will see savings of more than half a million pounds for each and every year of the eight-year contract, uh, and the refuse and recycling contract delivers savings of more than £900,000. Uh, and yet we are still spending a significant sum on both of these services. Uh, the street cleaning deal is worth more than £4 million annually, and the refuse contract £5.4 million. So, Yes, we are making some savings here, but we are still putting out the, uh, the putting a considerable investment into frontline services. And most importantly, aside from the figures, what does it actually mean for residents? First off, it preserves the refuse collection on a, on a weekly basis. Wandsworth is not going down the fortnightly collection route that some other local authorities have done. It's a blind alley and we're not going down it. Second, we're moving to five-day uh, rubbish collection. Uh, which will mean that the uh, Saturday morning collections in Putney uh, that currently exist are moved into the week and having been uh, canvassing for Councillor Ryder in Thamesfield with the backdrop of the dust cart going by, I imagine that's actually going to be very popular uh, in his neck of the woods. We're going to maintain the orange bag system. The orange bags will continue to be delivered directly to residents' doors. They will continue to attract more and more uh, items of, of uh, rubbish that can be put in there, different items of waste. We're preserving, because we went out and we consulted with the public, using that online consultation, uh, the Christmas tree collection in January. It was a potential big saving, but residents were against it, so we are safeguarding that service. We've uh, put in a £250,000 uh, budget uh, contingency fund to deal with uh, any, uh, any events that arise, and that's really put in flexibility into the heart uh, of our street sweeping service. Uh, and, of course, very importantly, and, and one of the things that residents in my ward uh, constantly point out, we are improving uh, the connection between the refuse service and the street sweeping service. Uh, it's, it's good, but it could be a lot better, and we must make sure that uh, the refuse service is never the accidental cause of litter. Um, we're also preserving uh, half a dozen uh, street sweeps of our busiest town centres, Tooting and uh, Battersea Junction, Clapham Junction. Uh, and the other town centres will be cleaned at least three times a day. Um, of course, when I was a local councillor in Tooting, I uh, agitated very much to uh, uh, Malcolm Grimston, who was the cabinet member for the environment at the time, to increase the number of street sweeps there. And uh, it's true that they're being reduced. But thankfully, uh, since that time, we've introduced the time banding for the collection of commercial waste. And that has dramatically improved the street scene in our town centres. Um, the contracts also uh, continue to set out uh, th those kind of value-added extras, if you like, the removal of detritus from private alleyways where there are potential health risks, 
uh, and, uh, and the removal of uh, autumn leaves uh, that can be a slip and trip hazard. I think, in conclusion, both of these uh, contracts fulfil our twin aims of delivering value for money for the taxpayer uh, while safeguarding services as best we can in a very difficult financial environment. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Jacob. <laughs> Councillor Boswell. Uh, thank you, um, Madam Mayor. Um, as this council continues to pair public services to the bone, this latest cut to uh, lend, uh, end late afternoon, early evening cleaning of our town centres and late night cleansing of areas with very high footfall is short-sighted, to say the least. Madam Mayor, this decision will have a detrimental, detrimental impact, particularly on Tooting Town Centre, that Councillor Jacob has mentioned, but also Putney High Street and the shopping area around Clapham, Clapham Junction. The council claims to be on the side of businesses, but this claim seems hollow when these latest cuts will do nothing to help attract shoppers to Wandsworth town centres or boost the nighttime economy. Tooting, Tooting Broadway tube station alone has over 40,000 enters and exits each weekday. 50% of these in the late afternoon, early evening. But this is precisely the cleaning cut between 4 and 9 o'clock that, that has been cut, and that daily cleansing of that high footfall area will no longer happen. Putney High Street already has some of the poorest air quality and highest pollution levels in London, and now Putney residents and visitors will be faced with some of the capital's dirtiest streets at night time as well. I appreciate uh, that, as Councillor Jacob has pointed out, that town centres will continue to be cleaned six times a day, but I think this is a muddle-headed approach, as it is evening and nighttime commercial and retail activity that produces the worst detritus, particularly drunken crowds using late-night takeaways, dropping polystyrene food containers, half-eaten pizza. We all know it. We've all stepped over it empty lager cans, and in some of the worst cases, are uh, throwing up on town centre pavements. Yuck. So, it seems inconceivable that late night street cleansing and late afternoon, early evening washing down of high footfall pavements and streets was agreed by the majority party councillors to be a non-core service. As the council claims to be on the side of businesses, it is even more astonishing that local businesses were not included in the public consultation carried out earlier this year, were not consulted or given a chance to put forward their views on cleaning contract cuts. Wandsworth Chamber of Commerce have been so worried that they've put out a statement saying, this Chamber of Commerce is concerned that the town centres are kept clean and tidy. The decision to reduce cleaning should be monitored and evaluated to ensure standards of cleanliness are kept to. And businesses need, of course, all the support they can get right now. In addition, the 48% of local residents responding to the public consultation who oppose these reductions to town centre cleaning have had their views dismissed. What's the point of carrying out a consultation if you're not going to consult with the most heavily affected groups, in this case local businesses, and, and Councillor Govindia has just made much of uh, the fact that this council listens, but actually where you have consulted with the public but you haven't listened to what they have to say. So whilst it is welcome that the new reduced contracts will, I know, be closely monitored for any adverse effects. I think before these cuts are implemented next uh, April, you must properly consult with businesses, local chambers of commerce and town centre business representatives. And I think you should also review the timings for street cleansing um, in, to um, include the nighttime rounds and the early evening rounds in the new contracts. Thank you, Councillor Boswell. <laughs> Councillor Cooper. Thank you very much, and fellow councillors. Um, uh, Councillor Boswell has uh, talked um, a bit about the uh, poor outcomes that might be anticipated from uh, the selection of some of the uh, non-core items. Um, at the committee, we talked about some of the other items, which are also big ticket 
items. And we felt that continuing to spend £300,000 a year on um, the orange sacks being delivered out to people rather than encouraging people um, in a possibly a month, some people might even call it a big society type way to actually go and collect the sacks and to deal with their own Christmas trees and, and a number of other items um, might be a better approach. Um, unfortunately, it looks as though not just Tooting but Clapham Junction um, is going to share the same fate. But worst of all, as Councillor Boswell was also saying, um, is going to be Putney High Street, uh, which is likely to lack both cleanliness and also very, very p poor air quality. I find it really hard to believe, standing in this chamber with a number of members opposite who have fought particularly hard about aircraft noise uh, that affects Putney, um, that anybody is prepared to accept um, the poor air quality about which so far we have managed to do very little. And then on top of that, we're now going to um, add uh, filth and, and rubbish. I mean, it, it's probably too much to suggest that people will be staggering along Putney High Street, um, stepping over mountains of, of, of rubbish while choking to death. But, you know, we are in a very difficult situation with Putney. It is one of the worst five air quality sites in the whole of London and we ought to be ashamed of ourselves that we have done nothing about air quality and now to suggest that we're not going to clean Putney Town Centre as well is, is disgraceful. But in, a day, in addition to that, um, in addition to the, hope, the potential outcomes for our town centres, Council also talked about the consultation process and the fact that we seem to have conducted this so badly. Last September, we sat in the committee, and Councillor Boswell and I both talked about the possibility of using Brightside, which we've discussed this evening, Home Life, and a number of other methods of consulting with people. Um, and we could have started doing that at an early stage. We knew that we were going to be letting the contract in a new way, that we were looking at core items and non-core items. These are, as Councillor Jacob has set out very eloquently amongst the most important contracts that we let as a council. They are services that absolutely nobody can ignore. Everybody is very aware of um, any problems and issues that relate to rubbish recycling and street cleaning. So a real bottom-up engaged approach, feeding very much from the previous debate, should have seen as properly consulting with local people engaging with them about what should be in and what should be out, involving them as fully as possible in the decisions on what should be added to the contract from the menu of non-core items. Instead, what did we get? We didn't put anything in bright side. We didn't put anything in home life. We had 499 responses to our consultation. I asked at the committee and have still not been told whether any of the 499 people who responded were council tenants. And I think Mr Evans is still here at the back. I'm still looking forward to finding out whether any of them were. We really can do better. We really must do better. 499 people out of 280,000 local residents. As we go forward with the big changes that we're talking about at, at, in terms of engagement, we really have to make sure that more engagement happens than just 499 people. It is inadequate. It's not real engagement. And if it continues to happen, it will completely undermine all the warm words in the previous debate on the Wandsworth Challenge. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cooper.